you know, I get triggered when I hear certain things. And I just had one of those moments where I was triggered. I am so sick and tired of hearing about Asians in this bill, this executive order that is, that Joe Biden signed to protect Asians. I'm so sick and tired of hearing about that. I'm so sick and tired of hearing about the LGBT community and what the government is doing for them. I am so sick and tired of that. And the reason why I'm so sick and tired of that, because as black people, we don't want to talk about our own issues. We don't want to talk about what we are doing to hurt one another in our own community. That's why I'm sick and tired of it. Now, I hear people keep talking about the Asians, the Asian. They, they're doing things to protect the Asians. They're doing things to protect the LGBT community. They're doing things to protect these people. They're doing things. You know what? Let me tell you all something. What are black people doing to protect their own neighborhoods? Can someone tell me how many black people was killed in Chicago last week? Or better yet, can anyone tell me how many black people was killed the weekend before that in Chicago? Better yet than that, can someone tell me how many black people have been killed in Chicago this year at the hands of other black people? Can someone please tell me that? See, we sit here and talk about Asian and LGBT. We, we talk about everything but that. We don't want to talk about how many kids, how many black young kids under 10 being killed in America this year at the hands of other black people. Why don't y'all want to talk about that? Why? Why? Why can't you talk about something that's really affecting the black community? See, talking about Asians, that's not affecting the black community. Talking about LGBT, that's not affecting the black community. You know what's affecting the black community at this time? Killings. Killings. Seeing babies shot in the street. Seeing adult males being shot in the street by other black adult males. That's what affecting the black community right now. When your kids cannot go outside and play like kids should be able to because you have gun violence running rapid throughout the inner cities in this country. Why can't we talk about that? No, you know why? Because see, that's something that's too difficult to talk about. So we want to talk about easy subjects like Asians in the LGBT community. See, those things we can talk about and ignore what's going on in the inner city. See, that's why I'm triggered. Because when I hear about babies being killed every day in America, black babies by black males, I have an issue with that. And I think we all should have an issue with that. See, I'm so sick and tired of these race hustlers like Umar Johnson who sits on their platforms every day and talk about the Asian community, talk about the LGB community, but they're not talking about what's going on in Chicago right now. They're not talking about that. They're not. And that's sad. It's sad as black people, we don't care about the death of our own people. We just want to put the blame somewhere else. We want to say the government is not doing enough to help us. Help us. Well, what are we doing to help ourselves? Are we trying to rid, rid our inner cities of this crime, of these murderers? Are we out there in the streets trying to do that? No, we're not. We are sitting back complaining about the government while we sit and do nothing to help ourselves. Now, when it comes to these race hustlers, since they want to talk about what the government is not doing and what the white man is not doing, you have to ask them, what are you doing to improve the inner cities, to stop the violence in the inner city so our babies can play in the streets? What are you doing, Umar Johnson? What are you doing? And many, many more. Al Sharpton, what are you doing? Y'all making millions of dollars a year off of what? Race hustling. That's a game that they're playing. So I just want to say this right here. Y'all need to stop talking about the Asian thing. You need to stop talking about the LGBT thing and start talking about the inner city violence where black people are being killed every freaking day in this country. 